right, so this is the second tutorial. I will talk about how to bring the recorded data from Toby Pro glasses into uh, the Toby Pro lab, so you can do some analysis. Uh, at the end of last uh, tutorial, I covered you can actually export your recorded video directly into computer through Wi-Fi. Uh, so here's the example. That is how it. this recording is happening now. Um, you can see that is the one I just recorded uh, in the first tutorial, uh, which has this kind of eye gaze uh, data represented as a circle. And you can see everything through my first person view. Uh, however, this is just a video. It's not really analytical data. Uh, so the MP4 file you downloaded from the Toby Glass will just be a video file. Um, the analytical software is not really able to uh, decode uh, this video. So that's the reason you need to uh, extract uh, the data from the memory card, uh, which I already insert into my computer. So you can see all the data embedded uh, in this uh, memory card. One thing I want to talk briefly about the uh, the project file basically is a kind of like an envelope, which include a lot of different records uh, you have done, or other people have done saved uh, in this memory card. So here you can see today that is uh, the data actually recorded into this uh, memory card. And you can dig into the recordings, you can actually see the segments. There is a file actually saved as MP4 file. Uh, but also you have other files like a GZ, that's a gaze data, and also some JavaScript, which will record the movement of your gaze. Uh, so it's, it's more than just an MP4 file. There's a lot of other data is being saved uh, in this folder. It's really hard to identify which file to copy in. Uh, so I will show you the typical way to bring the recording uh, from the memory card into computer is actually through uh, the Toby Pro Lab. Uh, so here I will just go ahead, run this uh, program, Toby Pro Lab. Uh, once you run this program, the first thing you want to do is create a new project. Uh, for the sake of um, demonstration, I will just uh, give this name as uh, Workshop. Uh, you can define the location to save your project. I would recommend find a place later you can have access. Uh, in my case, it's my eDrive, TM, Toby, Toby Glasses. Uh, so it's a pretty deep folder. And I can give this project name, let's say, Workshop 2. And I will create. Once you create this new project, uh, which is based on the uh, uh, the Toby glasses, you will have um, a new folder automatically generated. I will show you. <clears throat> it's a Toby glasses, right? You can see this is a new folder named Workshop Two. It's pretty small, only one megabase because there's no recording yet, uh, so it's just a placeholder with a lot of subfolder right now, just create. All right, then I'm going to um, input the recording into uh, this new project. So uh, we'll, we'll do the glasses recording uh, import. Uh, you do wanna find your memory card. And then this is the TTG uh, GP, uh, it's actually the project uh, file associated with uh, many recordings. Uh, so you just identify this in a memory card, click open. Uh, so it will actually sort all the recordings I made uh, over the past few months. Um, as you can see, it's actually not a good idea just keep the recording as numbers. Uh, I don't really have a name for it. Uh, this is actually not good. Uh, in the future, you maybe want to give a name. So now I just uh, kind of figured out based on the day it was recorded. 
Uh, so you can see this one is the latest one I reported this morning. And the gaze sample is 90%, so it's pretty high. I will check this one. And then I will just import uh, this video file into, um, into my project. You can see something I did yesterday. Um, the gaze sample is pretty low. Um, I think the calibration was not accurate uh, at that point of time. But anyhow, I will just uh, loading this guy in. All right, and then click OK. So it's bring the records in. Uh, the records is more than the MP4 video. Uh, there's a lot of other things associated with it. So that's a recording. Once the recording is in, I can go ahead, double click, open the recording. All right. So you can basically see uh, the video file I just uh, bring in. I think at the beginning it has some uh, black screen. Uh, if you like, you can actually trim it. So not really worry about these uh, earlier uh, frames. So here you can see the frames. Uh, if I play, uh, just you can see the just, case data. Um, uh, so that's one, what you do to bring the image, uh, bring the video into this uh, this program. You can also see in the visualization they have uh, data like gaze, uh, where you can find a lot of interesting uh, representation on the fixation and other things. Okay. All right. You maybe want to refer to the uh, tutorial and to to dig into this. Uh, there's a lot of data here. Let me just make this up a little bit uh, so you can see the gaze fixation and uh, you can even turn on turn off this individual uh, display okay all right so that is pretty much um, about how to bring the image uh, bring the the video in I do want to show you one more thing um, let me just make this one actually I want to turn it off so save some space yeah. Uh, so I do want to show you is how you can actually load a picture as a still image and then use video to have a reference to that image. By doing so, um, you can actually generate uh, also, you graphic representations fire. like heat map gaze. Uh, so that is actually a pretty cool way to visualize because my head uh, is is moving a lot, right? So the result here is not really able to be um, kind of projected on a still image. And that's the reason you have to you rely on external snapshot uh, to make the image mapping on top. Uh, so here in the snapshot, I'm going to add one. And I have the picture of the room. Click OK. So the image is bring in. Uh, so that is this image looks like okay if I double click actually I can't double click but you got an idea is a picture um, can you really double click that's all right I will show you <clears throat> so this picture is just a still shot on the you know, table the ceiling some pictures um, it definitely match with part of this video not the entire video but some part of the video Okay, so what I want to do now is make this image uh, as a part of uh, my analytical uh, source. So here I want to show snapshot, make them side by side uh, with my video. And also I can define maybe the video I can start from here, uh, maybe in here. Uh, there's a, a lot of overlapping within this uh, these frames right so I have this kind of match so my goal is to project the video into this still image this can be done automatically as soon as you make this two uh, show up side by side here you can click a button name is um, run automatic mapping uh, which will start to calculate if I click this guy in a in a corner so you start to calculate the relationship between the video and the still image. Uh, really depends on the complexity 
of you know video, you know the head movement. Uh, this could take a few minutes or even longer. Uh, once this mapping is done, uh, you should have a pretty good um, kind of linkage uh, between the video and the image in terms of the pixels. Uh, so let's wait a little bit until this mapping is done. Okay, definitely is getting pretty slow now. Um, yeah, you can still work on other stuff. It's not really uh, require you to stop working, but um, it's a little bit too slow. I will do um, actually I already run this before in a different project. Why not I just open that project so you can have a so you can have an idea. Um, so this is the prod workshop two. I I think I did one workshop one, which is one already complete uh, this mapping. So let's uh, let's do video record. Right, the same thing, and uh, it's still loading the still loading the video. Is connected if all right. It definitely take a longer time than I expected to load. Okay, uh, it seems like it froze. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's froze. Um, let me just reopen it. All right, this is what happened when you do demo. Um, okay, it just crashed. That's okay. And I will run this Pro Lab one more time. <clears throat> And I open the existing workshop. All right, and I open the first record. All right, so now it's done. If I play, um, because the video has been matched, so you can see on this part, it has no idea how to mapping, because there's no overlapping, but suddenly you see this green bubble show up, uh, which indicate this matched right, so location. Uh, by the way, if you don't like the, uh, you know, the color, you can definitely customize. Uh, this is all built in, in the, uh, in this, uh, Pro Lab program, uh, you can definitely customize like, the size of the gaze, opacity, size, uh, duration, and once you play, it will it will uh, give you that new setting. All right. So once you have this matched thing done, and uh, then let's go ahead uh, take some analysis. So here, in a snapshot, right? which is a still image, I can do some visualizations. Uh, for instance, I can go to uh, heat map. I can go to gaze plot. Uh, this is basically the projected eye movement uh, on, the, on the still image. Because uh, the data is basically extracted from the video. Uh, so that is basically accumulate uh, across all the entire setup uh, timeline uh, then you can uh, you can actually see how the fixation is represented with a color and you can also overlay with uh, opacity so that's the same kind of setting with other Toby bar based eye tracker uh, you can also do the gaze plot uh, this is a similar you can you know see the sequence of eye movement and uh, you can change color and other stuff all right so that's pretty much about analytical side of um, prolab 
and also you can refer to the tutorial about how to export data so there you can have fixation you can set up event you can set up um, uh, the time interval you want to focus on uh, so there's a lot of things you can you can play with all right i think that's the end of uh, this tutorial